Another fragility factor, one that I'm going to focus on um, for the rest of the time, is this thing that we call stereotype threat. It's the apprehension arising from the awareness of a negative stereotype or a negative personal reputation in a situation where that stereotype or reputation is relevant. If I'm in a situation where you know something about my group, or I think you know something about my group and it's negative, and that something is relevant, I get a little nervous. Black students, on average, score about 100 points lower on the SAT than white students, the average. And There's usually a standard deviation difference. And that's across the board in terms of socioeconomics? Yeah. Socioeconomics narrows the gaps, but it doesn't wipe it out completely. So um, one of the things that we think may also be going on is that the students are quite aware of the negative stereotypes about them, often don't do as well on standardized tests as they could do, and the standardized tests don't measure their ability well because when they get into testing situations, they worry that their performance is going to confirm that negative view. So study after study shows that when you take away that concern that kids have about not doing well in these tests and thereby confirming the negative stereotype, that their test scores go up dramatically mm -hmm. because it's psychologically threatening to be told that your group doesn't do well on this measure and oh by the way, here's this measure.